Introducing the Workado GraphQL Connector, revolutionizing how you integrate and connect your systems with unparalleled simplicity. It's another connector in the family of universal connectors. To demonstrate what that means, have a look at the following example. Say you're in the middle of building a Workado recipe, and the next step is to call an application, but there's no connector for it. In a situation like this, instead of building a new connector from scratch, you can use one of the universal connectors. If the application provides a GraphQL API, you can simply use the universal GraphQL connector. In case you haven't heard about GraphQL before, it's a query language for APIs. It provides a flexible and efficient approach to data retrieval and eliminates issues commonly encountered in traditional REST APIs. With GraphQL, clients can request specific data requirements and receive precisely what they need, resulting in improved performance and developer productivity. Additionally, it supports dynamic schema introspection, which makes building queries very easy. Here's an example. The query is on the left, and on the right, there are some example results. You can see that the structure of both are very similar. It's a query for a particular film, its title, and related planet names. And the output has exactly that. The film, A New Hope, and the planets, Tatooine, Alderaan, and Yavin 4. So users get exactly what they asked for, which makes it very flexible and predictable at the same time. The good news is that you don't have to learn the query language. The connector handles these details for you. It automatically introspects the application schema and shows the queries, fields, related subqueries, subquery fields, and so on. Based on the queries and fields users then select, it immediately provides the right output data pills that you can use further down in the recipe. The main actions the connector provides are query record for reading data, like getting a single record or searching for multiple records, as well as mutate records for writing data, like creating new records or updating existing records. Let's use query records to build the query from the example before. We're asking for a film having a particular ID. In terms of information to retrieve, we select the title field, the related planets as a subquery, and each planet's name. This automatically creates these corresponding output data pills. And that's it. No coding, no digging into API documentation, and no need to run multiple queries to retrieve related records. In case you already have existing GraphQL queries at hand, you can actually reuse them. That's what the custom action is for. Here, you can simply copy and paste the existing query. The connector then parses the query while supporting variables, fragments, inline fragments, directives, query aliases, and even multi-query documents. It also generates input fields for every variable defined in the query, as well as output data pills for every query field that you can use further down in the recipe. To conclude, the GraphQL connector is a universal connector allowing you to connect to every application that supports GraphQL. It dynamically introspects the application schema, so you can query the data and perform any operation you need in a matter of minutes. And most importantly, it doesn't require any coding. There's no digging into API documentation and no need to learn the GraphQL language.